Vitus Azim, who is an anti-corruption campaigner. Uh, Vitus, grateful for, for joining. Uh, what, what's your own reading of, of the situation we have? The OSP looking, going through all the processes. Mr. Mahama did no wrong. Well, I have always said in the past that we're in a democracy, and if there's an investigation, we should not expect it to come the way that would be favorable to us. Mm. So if the special prosecutor has found that there's no basis to go further with this case mm. and has exonerated them, that should be the end of this matter. Okay. Unless, unless the government wants to take it up with a higher authority. Mm. In which case, I don't know which higher authority, yeah. investigative authority would then, then take it to. Mm. Uh, so as for me, I think that maybe it would have disappointed a number of people, or some people, especially in uh, the ruling MPP. Mm. But that is the ruling, and I think we should accept it the way it has come. Okay. But, but, but when the, the UK and the US make pronouncement in, that, in those rulings, that sort to implicate Airbus and it dealing with, with Ghana in that particular purchase, uh, isn't it curious that we are now being told that there's no evidence that proved that there, there was any wrongdoing? Uh, you see, it is possible that the UK used a certain law mm. to find that there was something wrong. But even the UK has not come after these people. And the Office of Treasury Prosecutor, they don't use that, that law mm. or that procedure. You might have talked about the com com conflict of interest. And there are instances of com conflict of interest. Either actual conflict of interest, potential conflict of interest, and perceived conflict of interest. And so, maybe there was, there was uh, potential conflict of interest because mm -hmm. They were brothers and they were involved in the transaction, or even perceived people from outside viewing it as a conflict of interest. But the special prosecutor has, not, has been very specific on this one. That one, their relationship, the present relationship with his brother, did not influence the transaction, and that no bribes were paid as a result of this transaction. Mm. So I, 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 I don't see why. Somebody should even say that the special prosecutor did a shoddy job because you didn't want him to have come out with a finding that you, 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 you don't expect. But of course, we're in an election year and these things are expected. Mm. If, if the special prosecutor has found John Mahama uh, culpable, the NDC would have come out to accuse the special prosecutor of also maybe doing a similar Shoddy job. And so I'm not surprised that MPP2 has also come out to say that, well, the special prosecutor, the only worry to be is that the special prosecutor's war rules, especially with regards to his relationship with MPP, are likely to worsen. Mm -hmm. Because this, the guy on the, uh, the panel with us already has expressed the party's stand on it. They are not happy with it. They think he did a shoddy job. Mm. Mm. So mm. it will affect the special prosecutor's relationship with the party. Okay. Especially when it comes to release of funds. Okay. It right. was even alleged mm. that some particular individuals in the party were actually interested in getting an adverse uh, outcome. And that, you see, the office of special, the special prosecutor traveled a number of times, was allegedly it was alleged to have traveled a number of times to the UK with regards to this investigation. And so it would be unfair to accuse mm. the special prosecutor of doing a shortage job. I think so.